Hey everyone, it's Deli here and welcome to what I think is the final part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Single Dad. So if you guys have been watching since episode one, I congratulate you on almost finishing a series that is... That's pretty impressive. I appreciate you guys who have been watching all the Let's Plays and especially when we leave a Let's Play for a little while and then we come back to it, uh, it, it really makes me feel warm and fuzzy that you guys are coming back to watch it. Um, it means a lot. But anyways, I see Ami walking around in that window and I do believe it is her final few hours right now um, before she passes away. I don't know, I just have a feeling. Uh, I got everyone into a good mood today. Uh, the kids have just been sleeping for a little while because I wanted them to go out and have some fun. Why are you mortified? Stop looking at me from having a mood swing. Oh my gosh. Well, there is a festival, a festival, a festival on at the moment. And I thought we could go there and maybe just have some nice time with Ami. Oh, Azra's spotlight is fading. Oh my gosh. I can't stand it when they get that walk. A spice festival at the Modern Library. Enjoy local cuisine. There is a spicy challenge. Harvest fresh produce and purchase unique spices. Nice. Let's go. Let's go as a fam. And I don't know, I feel like Ami would like to be doing something fun. I might not invite the other kids. I think we'll just invite the family members because that's what it what is important. And even though she doesn't get along with Naomi all that well, she still sees Naomi as family and wants her to be a part of the family, whether or not they're best friends. Um, Oh my gosh, I thought that said Samaj for a second. <laughs> I was like, what? Awan's outfit is so funny for the critic career. Like, it's beautiful. Azra and I am missing Hayden. So Hayden's still in his part-time work outfit. He has been working at like a burger joint or something like that to earn a bit of extra money. I think his work being four times a week is just too much for him. I kind of feel like teenagers are much better suited to jobs than a weekend jobs. I don't know, because Azra's job as a babysitter nanny is just on weekends and it's just a lot easier to handle. But then again, you won't earn as much money. And not everyone can come. One is busy Hello. right now. Uh, leave no, early. Stop. Like, excuse me, leave early. What is this? Oh, I remember that restaurant. Okay, so this is a spice festival. It looks pretty fabulous. I love all of the festivals. Oh, look, it's our favorite thing, the bubble blower. Well, let's maybe get some food. Uh, I'm gonna get... Asra was pretty hungry. Let's maybe... Oh, do we wanna order food? Or I don't know, I'm kind of stressing out. Let's maybe get them to join into this contest. Attempt the spicy curry challenge. Let's get a few of them to attempt this. Let's attempt to do the challenge together. I hear the bubble blow at this... Oh no! Oh no, I knew this would happen. Oh no, I knew this would happen. <laughs> no, <laughs> we didn't get to do this. <laughs> we didn't get to do the spice, spicy curry test. Oh my gosh. Um, Guys, you might wanna, you know, you might, oh no. Oh my gosh, they don't even know that she's passed away. Oh my gosh, a one is just sitting there reading. Did he not notice? How did he not notice? Oh my gosh, that was the weirdest reaction I've ever seen. Maybe he kind of knew it was coming. I mean, I guess we did know it was coming, but I thought he would have, you know, gotten up a little sooner. Oh, Ami. I told you guys. I was like, I feel like I should make the last episode a lot longer because I felt like she was gonna die or pass away at the beginning of this episode and that's what's happened. But at least we have time to have a little memorial service for her in this part, so maybe that's better. Oh my gosh, Ami. This makes me so sad when they die. <laughs> okay, um... I feel weird and sad about this. I don't know where the kids are. Uh, I I don't even know what to do with my life right now. Uh, oh, I've never seen those mirrors next to each other. Wait, Fergus, Fergus, okay. Um, I guess we go call forth ghost. Strength and connection to physical world. 
It's slowly withering. Soon her spirit will be released. Well, let's definitely strengthen that. Oh, I guess we should engrave. Engrave it. Wish you were here. Uh, let's maybe say something like, Ami, we will... Ami. No, we'll just write, Beautiful grandmother, mother, and... I don't know, beautiful, I don't know, what do you say on these things? Beautiful grandmother, beautiful grandmother, and mother. Yeah, and mother. Who will be, who will be truly missed. We will, forever, you will forever be in our hearts. You will forever be in our hearts and stomach linings. Get it? Because she cooks lots of delicious food maybe not you'll forever be in our hearts oh i have the hiccups oh Ooh. that was kind of cool okay i can't take him seriously in this outfit this is so not his style let's just put him in a nice shirt oh my gosh okay let's uh, we've got to figure out like a little memorial or something i don't know let's take her with us we don't want to leave her here uh, rude introduction. I don't, I don't, I don't really want to talk to him. He's scary. Why is he still here? Like, leave. <laughs> Just leave us alone. Okay, do the kids know what if, what's happened? They're just, like, chilling on their phones. Maybe we should tell them. Complain about problems, ask for advice. I think we've got to leave. Like, this, this is just, this is just not the place to be right now. I think tomorrow we will, I, mean, I think they need to go home. I think family needs to be together. I think that tomorrow we'll have our memorial. But yeah, right now, this is, we need to go home. Okay, so they've just arrived home and I've put Ami here just next to her bed for the time being before we have a ceremony tomorrow i'm thinking the nicest thing would be to cook some nice food and have a bit of a picnic and bury her somewhere outdoors i guess uh somewhere nice and how are you how is hayden still in a mood swing right now what is what is he doing right now he's just going to sleep okay well that's fair enough he can go to sleep that's how he wants to deal with it oh azra looks really sad and she's gonna go cry it out in her bed and maybe a one who's over here on the computer maybe he should chat to naomi if she's still around oh i hate it when the sims cry poor azra oh the poor thing she's so upset and a one is just here with Naomi, who's trying to make him feel better. I feel like he should go over to Azra and um, have a deep conversation with her. Give her some love. You know, give her a big hug uh, or discuss her sad mood a little bit. Oh, she's getting a little bit angry at him. I don't know why. Uh, maybe become best friends in that moment as well. And I just want him to give her a hug. Where's the hug option? Oh, there we go. Awan and Azra have become best friends. So, you know, with loss, there is also the silver lining is it, it does bring people closer together a lot of the time. And I'm thinking maybe, oh my gosh, she's saying, I, she's saying she dislikes him right now. What, why are they all disliking each other? Oh my gosh. Oh no, this is so disrespectful. We are mourning in here, people. Did I just say knock politely? Because we are not knocking politely. We're gonna go pound on that door because these neighbors are so rude. How dare they have music going on like this when we have just lost someone we have been very close to. So you better shut up in there, okay? Sorry, I just, I was getting a little bit passionate about this. It's just so disrespectful. Oh, hi. Mariko. Let's complain angrily about noise. Oh, and she's going to be rude to us as well. I live here too. I'm sorry your life is boring. Well, let's insult you. Ugh, that was so rude. What I was going to say before we were rudely interrupted was maybe he should ask Naomi to move in for a little while um, as he grieves his mother and to help look after the kids you know maybe she should move in again and not saying that they're gonna get together and get married 
or anything, but at least she could move in for a little while and help him bring up the kids whilst he mourns his mom and just to have that extra little bit of support in the house. Okay, so Naomi's just moved in. She's in a pretty angry mood from the neighbors. She's probably just thinking, how dare they have that racket going off when her ex-husband is going through something horrible right now so she can um, console him about death. What is a frenzied kiss mean? Oh, it's funny how there's like so many mean options. Discuss his sad mood. You know, she's just she's just here to help them. They've had plenty of issues, but like I said, loss brings people together. Okay, so let's get them to give each other a hug. Oh, hug? She's too angry to hug him? Oh my gosh. Well, maybe if she's angry, she should ask to chat with Mariko and really let it rip. Oh my gosh, I would not like to be in Naomi's way. Like, hooly dooly. Mariko's like, hi, do I know you? Oh my gosh, she's being nice to her in the first instance. Let's provoke her and just be really, really rude. Like, two wrongs definitely don't make a right. But this is Naomi for you. Like, she, she's, she's, she's a lot. <laughs> she's like, just how dare you be so rude to my husband do you know he just lost his mother army i'm not sure if you met her she was a lovely woman i mean we don't particularly get it wrong but next time stop being so selfish and turn your damn stereo down you hurt or i will come back here <laughs> Okay, maybe he should uh, he should be like, ladies, ladies, calm down. <laughs> Please, I don't want the added stress. Oh, Maybe Naomi isn't making things better. He's just like, please, ladies, I I've got enough going on right now. Mariko is just like, <laughs> is she going to apologize to us? Or is she just going to stand there with a smug little smile, giving us the crazy eyes? I don't like her. I don't like her at all. Goodbye. Let's let's just leave. Well, let's just leave her. Oh, and look, Azra's like staying up late to do a little bit of cooking, maybe. Hayden's just asleep. Like I feel like, oh, she's probably just making something for herself to eat. But I, I feel like it would be nice if they did a little bit of cooking, you know. Uh he does have some spoiled campus stew in his inventory. <laughs> probably some spoiled lunches. Ew. Oh my gosh, Hayden, why do you have so much gross stuff in your bag? How'd they fit so much yeah. stuff in their inventory too? Yeah. Uh oh, and she's still going through a mood swing. I'm also thinking that these bedroom lights should really be on automatic. Uh, let's put on auto lights for this room and this room and this room because I don't really like it when they sleep in the light. Also, I've drawn Ami's curtains because that's what they do in the movies when someone passes away. So respect, respect, okay? Oh, they're all doing lots of cooking. They're like, this is what Ami would have wanted us to continue cooking. Oh, okay. Well, it is one in the morning. I think Azra is like feeling a little bit better. She's feeling a little bit more inspired. So I'm going to get her to go to the loo and um, go to sleep. And one's very sad from witnessing the death of a loved one, but he's just gonna do some cooking because that's what Ami loved seeing him do. Okay, I think he just cooked nachos and he smells. Oh, the poor guy, he he needs a bit of help. Let's let's get him showered. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Ami's funeral is going to be on talk like a pirate day. We are ending this holiday early. I'm sorry, but no. I wonder if you could do like a funeral holiday actually. Can you add a holiday to add an event to the current day? Mm, not really. What happens if we planned ahead? Could we have done something where you, oh, attend a ceremony? Actually, you could kind of do it so it's a funeral maybe. I'm just trying to see. Remembrance, here we go. Spend time with remembering those who have passed but are never truly gone. Click on an urn or a gravestone and choose any of the available options. Hmm. I, so you kind of can, but it's a little bit limited. Oh my gosh. Talk like a pirate day was awful. Well, I'm sorry, but we are not talking like a pirate today. Okay. All right. Well, let's maybe make some nice food. Um, Naomi, you better be cooking for the family. So let's uh, serve some breakfast. She's not a very strong cook, but that's okay. I, I never expected her to be that much of a strong cook, but I'm sure she's very good in other ways. I kind of feel like she's one who will stand up for herself, who will stand up for her kids, which is something that a Juan probably isn't as good at. Oh, <laughs> Hayden's like, I'll, uh, I'll help you, mom. What's his relationship with his mom? I mean, 
they're not that close. I feel like Asra is probably closer with her mom. Yikes. Naomi's really not close with either of her kids. She should really um kind of work on cheering them up a bit. It must be weird that she's just moved in. She's like, did you see that film the other day with the frog that exploded? How cool was that? <laughs> He's like, mom, I know. Oh. <laughs> He's like, mom, I'm just not in the mood. She, he knows she's trying though. He's like, yeah, it was awesome. And I feel like crunchy biscuits. Okay, uh, so. He's in the way. She can't cook that. She's like, oh, sweetie, I was going to make breakfast for you. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Naomi, why do you fart so much? Didn't she fart last time she was here? Like, in one of the parts, only a couple of episodes ago. I swear Naomi farts, like, all the time. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's just resume this. Um, so, at least we have, you know. Oh, he's going to take that. He's like, mom, you can finish it. I'm not in the mood. Oh, it's so sad for these guys. Okay, he needs to have a little bit of fun. Azra needs to have a little bit of food. Oh my gosh, is she going to burn the house down? <laughs> uh, Naomi's hungry as well, and a one should have something to eat too. Okay, she's okay. She's okay. Uh, a one is depressed though. They might need some counseling over the phone, like a little bit of sad hotline counseling could be good for them. Okay, is he meant to be working today? Oh, is this his? Yeah, he's meant to be working today. I think what we'll do is uh, call to work and take a vacation day. The kids need to, oh no, it's a Saturday, so the kids don't have to take any time off school, which is good. Oh, and that's good, Azra's feeling flirty. Nice one, I don't know why. I guess from good environment and, oh no, 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 from her trait, from her romantic trait. I forget that they feel flirty more from the trait. Of course they would. Okay, so I don't know. I feel like Ami, would she be traditional in wanting them to wear black to her, you know, her funeral remembrance? I, you know what? I think we will put them in black. I don't think that every Sim would like all the other sims to dress in black like a lot of people some people say at their funeral they'd like people to dress in bright colors or dress normally um but i think ami has a little bit of tradition about her so i think we will go for uh, a black dress i think it's summer right now is that right so we'll just go for something that's a little conservative but uh, still cool all right, so I've given them all some outfits and I might actually change these wedges so they're a little a little more of a lower heel just because I feel like Omi would prefer that. Uh, those shoes are kind of weird. I don't know, what what shoes would you wear? I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe just these ones. But yeah, I thought, I mean, I just have never gotten to use this hat before. So maybe it's one of Omi's old hats um, that Azra is wearing, you know? As a bit of a tribute to her. I just thought it was really cute. And uh, then Hayden's like pretty, pretty standard. I didn't want him to be too fancy and dressed up. I still want him to look like a teen boy who just kind of pulled out of, out of his wardrobe any black stuff he had that was decent. Mm. Naomi's got a nice black dress and a floppy hat on with her favorite necklace. And Awan is just wearing like a nice uh, rolled up sleeves, ankles showing because it's pretty hot outside. So that's what these guys are going to be wearing. And I'm thinking maybe we should go to Brindleton Bay to the lighthouse area. Am I right that there's some tombstones over there? I have a bad feeling that maybe it's just pet tombstones, which I don't want to like bury army just with pets because that kind of sends the wrong message. But the lighthouse in any case, I think is a really nice spot. So maybe we'll do that as opposed to getting like a, a graveyard together. All right, so we were going to bake a couple of things. Uh, so maybe we'll get, let's, yeah, let's get Hayden to cook something nice as like a little tribute to her. Maybe he can bake. I mean, it would have been great if he was able to do the, the lava cake, but we weren't able to do that. Um, she did leave a book for them to read and she did leave these rose bushes as well. So oh, they should harvest the roses and plant them at the tombstone. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. So let's harvest the roses. Uh, then we can plant some at a tombstone. That's beautiful, you guys. 
<laughs> oh, Azra, she's so upset. And probably so touched that Ami left her these, like, a rose bush for her to take care of. Uh, maybe he'll ask her about her favorite author to kind of try and get her mind off things. And the brownies are finished, so they can take these with them. Uh, so let's head off. Let's go over to the lighthouse. Okay, so it, it is a very hot day. Uh, we're here at the lighthouse, so hopefully we can kind of do this little memorial quite quickly. I'm struggling to get my words out for some reason. I don't know why. And yeah, they're going to they're gonna get hot because I stupidly put those clothes under party wear, but at least they can go inside this, um, this museum for now. And, you know, Ami probably enjoyed older things. I don't know. She probably loved coming here, even though we never took her here. I wish we did now. <laughs> now, where was this? I swear there was like tombstones around here. What's over here? Go upstairs. Oh, that's right. We can go to the top of the lighthouse. Oh, we could spread some of our ashes at the top of the lighthouse and bury the others. Wasn't there... I swear there was some kind of... Maybe there's just ghosts here. Maybe there's no actual tombstones. But we, we can place a tombstone. Like, I don't mind. I don't care. <laughs> It'll look a little strange there being one random tombstone, but you know what? It's it's okay it's okay so maybe we should do it like here under a tree or something like a nice maybe not next to the barbecue oh my gosh we need to find the perfect spot we could bury her down here near the water's edge no it'll get swept away i reckon over here this is a really nice spot right here okay so we are we are going to place in the world this tombstone there may army rest oh and then the roses, let's let's get a few of these out. So place in wild. Let's see. Uh, wait. Oh, don't step on the roses. Can she plant that here? Oh, no, we can't because we need to have a, a pot plant thing. Okay, so we've just planted the rose here under this statue. So there's a little army rose here for them to visit now and then. And then the others, I think, still are over here where she's being placed. Uh, it's kind of in a bit of a random spot, but, <laughs> you know, it's okay. Maybe we could... I don't I don't really understand the skull offering thing, but hopefully that's a nice thing to do. Uh, and then these guys can have a little, a little moment of mourning to, you know, see her off. Wish her well. To thank her for everything they've done. There we go. Success. Her gesture of respect was appreciated. The ancestors have heard her call and sent a Day of the Dead celebrator to roam the neighborhood. Okay. <laughs> well, that's kind of kind of nice, isn't it? No, you guys. Uh, I kind of feel like the rose should be slightly over here. Burning to death. Oh my gosh. Let's not have another. Let's not have another death in the family. So hopefully they don't burn to death as well, but I just wanted them to go up to the top of the lighthouse because I also thought this was a really lovely way to say goodbye to Ami too. So yeah, they're gonna try and go up to the top of the lighthouse. Let's see if they pop up. Yay! So Naomi's changed into her summer dress. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, this is so moving. Is it only one at a time or something? Is there only one at a time or can they, can several of them go up here? I mean, I assume a few of them can. Oh my gosh, only one person at a time? Okay then, <laughs> we'll just, we'll get her to go here. Uh, next person up the top. Okay, it looks like, uh, oh, both are one. Okay, go here together. Let's see if this works. Oh, this is a moment, you guys. Um, the mom didn't want to stay up here, but look at this. They're all saying goodbye to Ami at the lighthouse. This is beautiful. Oh, she's up here now as well. Oh, look at that. Oh, you guys, this is so sweet. This is like a nice way for her to be remembered, I think. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And it's also a nice way to say goodbye to this Let's Play, I think, for now. I mean, you never know. We might come and revisit this family on a live stream or something like that. But in any case, I'll be sure to upload the family to the gallery if you guys would like to continue their storyline. Uh, so I will upload that right after, uh, after I finish this episode. Oh my gosh, I'm just thinking of how beautiful this looks. Wow, I'm so glad we decided to come here. And uh, I'm so glad that there's no like creepy pet tombstones because that would have kind of 
ruined it a little bit. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this Let's Play. I really appreciate you guys um, and for all of your amazing comments and feedback and all of your help as well with the storyline. It's always such a good time being able to share my gameplay with you guys. And I appreciate you all so much. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a shorter Let's Play, but I still hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I can't wait for the next one. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I can't wait to speak to you soon. So, so.